To be manageable already, we see Club Med bond yields spiking. The Portuguese three-year bonds 170 basis points up in the past couple of days. The stock market's all, I mean, the Greek one is down 18% in a week, but all the stock markets are down this week as a, as a consequence of that. Is it contagious or can the contagion be uh, contained? I think I agree with Alistair. It's, um, it probably can be contained in pure financial terms. Of course, financial markets will try to reassess the amount of political risk that is there in the Eurozone. But um, as, as we saw now in Greece, it really takes a political crisis in a country, a, a, a change in government um, for, the, for that to happen, that a, that a country is threatening to go out. So in a future crisis, mm -hmm. let's say a political crisis in, say, Italy, um, and that's in that case, it would be that that's the point where the contagion would show. Mm -hmm. So this, the, as, as you rightly said, we already see some reassessment of risk, but that is probably just a, sh a short term upheaval in markets. What about the consequences for Britain? We're we're not in the eurozone, and our banks are not exposed to uh, to Greek uh, debt, either uh, Greek bank debt or Greek sovereign debt. Could it, there are always bound to be ripple effects, but could it actually enhance the, the safe haven status that Britain debt, Britain's debt has at the moment? It could well, and it could also enhance sterling's value. I mean, sterling has actually shot up. Um, it has. In fact, there's been, you know, secret monetary tightening here because of sterling going up. And also, people might want to invest more in sterling assets. So, again, you might have more foreign direct investment or also capital flows, people buying houses, people buying shares, and so on. So, I think, I think this is positive for the UK. It shows that we're outside of the euro. It also shows it was the right decision for us to remain outside of the euro. But I also think it opens up a set of other questions mm -hmm. when it comes to the big renegotiation agenda. Because if one country can actually withdraw from a whole bunch of uh, mm. you know, uh, EU institutions, then why can we not? So I think it strengthens our hand in that way also. Uh, Nigel Farage, uh, still your leader, I understand, uh, he urged Greece to stand up to the EU and said the free world will applaud them. I think that's absolutely right. Really? Actually, Which I think, part of the free world is well, applauding them? Well, th this, this bit that's sitting in this chair, certainly, anyway, and I'm sure, I'm so, sure people feel the so same way. the free way. world is you. I think, I think uh, no, Alice has hit the nail on the head, hasn't he? This has been a standoff between the EU and Greece, and both have a huge amount to lose, but actually I think it's the EU that has most to lose when push comes to So what do you think Greece should do? it's the failure of the whole project. Well, in the short term, it, there would be enormous turmoil if they were to leave the euro. Now, President Schultz said uh, a couple of days ago that if they leave the euro, they will also have to leave the European yeah, that's, that's, that's unlikely, actually. That's not what actually. Greece wants to happen. But I think it's probably actually what they should do. So yes, you're in favour of countries reneging on their debts? I think, I think I'm in favour of, of, of freedom, of democracy, and I think Greece, if, we, if, if the Greek government wants to care about its people and a, a government has to put its own people first, if, then that's what's going to, to be stay, best. They? But they, they want to stay, well, they is, want it, two is it actually the right thing? They want yes. two things at once. But if they leave, they reneg right. on their debt. Because if they leave the euro and they have to go to the drachma, mm -hmm. they still have to pay their debts back in euros and the drachma will plummet against the euro. There's no way they can do that. They will be in default. Is that a good thing for a country to do? I think they will. Have, when are they ever going to pay their debts back anyway? They're in the most impossible situation at the moment. You yourself said in terms of the Eurozone, it's just 2% of their GDP. Uh, the, the tourism industry alone is 15% of Greek GDP. That will boom if they actually come out. Um, uh, if they go back to the dr drachma, abandon the euro, I think Greek will have a, Greece will have a sterling chance of getting its own economy back on its own feet, like Iceland did after its crash. It wasn't reliant on the EU. Uh, you know, we had short-term... Well, Iceland wasn't in the, in the I, EU. Iceland wasn't, wasn't in the, the European euro. Union, and, and uh, that was actually okay. one of its saving graces. Like, just, as, uh, uh, as we said, ours is staying in the pound, and long may it last. We must never join the what, euro. You, you, let me just get you. You know what you hope will happen, but what you think will have. What's your guess? By the end of the month, will Greece be heading, heading for the exit of the euro? I suspect there'll be another compromise of some kind, but that it will, Greece will be ejected in some way from the euro within the next six months or so. In the next six months, what do you think? I think there will be a deal made and I don't think it will be ejected because yeah. nobody really wants it, right. and most no, of all right. the Greek people. Well, we will both have you back to see. Will you I put suspect... the bet in drachma or euro? Uh, so I'll hold the bet. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you will. I suspect the Americans will have some of a say on this. Now, they're terrified of the geopolitical consequences Ooh. on NATO's southeast mm. flank. That's becoming a big...